what is going on, everybody? Hi! It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. When we left off, Edgeworth is investigating the yep. scenes of the crime, and we're getting details and, and the contradictions. As a defensive, we're playing as Edgeworth right now. It's weird. For day one. And it seems like we're going to switch afterwards, but this is just for now. So let's enjoy it while we can. All right. Inner Temple. What is this inner temple that Maya was supposedly training at? According to Bikini, it's an old building that they use for training for the Acolytes. It's on the other side of Dusky Bridge. The bridge that burned down, huh? Is there anything else on the other side of that bridge besides the inner temple? Nope, not a thing. Nothing. The other side is surrounded by cliffs on all sides. In a way, it's kind of like a little island out there. So the only thing there is the inner temple. Hmm. And it's not the kind of place a person could survive in. Please be alright, Maya. For real. Alright. Now, let's examine this place a little bit. Number one, this. So, sort from this gold statue. So, the sort. No, no phoenixing. I, yeah. can't, I can't let my voice go normal. I have to yeah. be all tensed up. <laughs> you gotta okay. be serious. So, the sword from this golden statue is actually the murder weapon? It sure is. It's called a shi 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 shi, by the way. Nasty piece of work, <laughs> sir. Shi shi shi, though. What was that? In Gumshoe, never be able to yeah, figure I that know, out. Yeah, I know, I know. There's still blood on it. I suppose it's the victim's blood. Yep, it's all over the blade. And speaking of all over the blade, that fingerprint's all over the hilt of the Shishido, Shishido too. <laughs> fingerprints? Naturally, they match the prints we got from the younger nun, Ooh. the defendant. Her fingerprints are on the murder weapon. Aye, that's uh, not good. What's wrong? You're looking really solemn. Well, yeah. Is this how it is for right? Is this what it's like to be a defense attorney? <laughs> It's hard. Yeah, I figure it doesn't feel really good. <laughs> to be honest, it feels more like it's detrimental to your health. <laughs> Welcome to our world, For pal. real. <laughs> like, when we learn that, we're just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, like, real talk, I know now that that's like a plaque thing on the bottom, but I was like, are those the antennas of the blue badger? Oh, my on God. The bottom of the thing? I was like, oh, wait a minute. You know how the ladder is always like a thing between Maya and, uh, Phoenix. Yeah. Like whenever they come across a ladder, I wonder what it'll be when Edgeworth looks at it. Yeah. I'm almost curious. I, I hope it's just a red pattern, but I don't know. Anyways. The main gate must be just over that stone wall. Ah, stone walls. I jumped over a few of those in my time. Uh. <laughs> Most of them are good memories, but not all. Detective. Perhaps someone should introduce you to the concept of paucity of words. <laughs> Aw. Alright, um... <laughs> I thought it was going to be a thing, but it wasn't a thing. Skiing stuff. I just love skiing. Really? You don't, um, seem like the type. <laughs> well, what about sleds? Sleds? Nah, they're a little too kitty, you know. Messes with my hard-boiled image. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to the silence, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, is the world starting to go mad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sledding's fun, Christ. man. All right, and up top there. The main hall of House of Curl Temple is above us here. Hey, you're right, but I'm pretty sure the main hall didn't have a second floor. House of Curl Temple is built on a steep part of the mountain. The front and back of the hall are on different levels. Ah, oh, that makes sense. But wouldn't it be easier to just build the place slanted, sir? Mm. I fail to see how we can even fail to consider that an even remotely good idea. <laughs> yeah, just build the build, build it fucking sideways, man. Just god damn it, Jesus. dude. Uh, nothing going on there. We got this little box. Lantern. It's a lantern. I suppose they light it at night. There's something elegant about the light of a fire. At the end of each month, I always like to relax in my room by candlelight. Detective, can you not afford to pay your electricity bill? Oh. How, how did you know? Oh. I mean, I am the one cutting your pay, so. <laughs> All right, and then the wand. <laughs> What's this? Looks like a wizard staff. Give me the wand! <laughs> that belonged to the victim, miss- Wait a minute. Oh, the thing's, thing's missing. thing's gone. The jade is missing. Yeah. That belonged to the victim, Miss Elise Dunham. There's nothing strange or magical about it. Oh, yeah. Listen, this is just between us, okay, sir? Yes. What? This is top secret stuff. Don't tell anyone about this. All right. The truth is... When I was a kid, oh boy. I wanted to be a wizard. Oh boy. <laughs> <sighs> uh, that's it. That's what you wanted to tell me? 
That's it. <laughs> this staff was made from a very strong kind of wood. What about fingerprints? Are there any on it? Just the victims. Hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. the, the jade sphere is gone. Yeah. Hmm. Which was supposed to have spiritual value, remember? Yeah. Hmm. Now, did she have anything hidden? No, it was Larry. Larry had things hidden. Yeah. I don't know if I can present anything to her. Maybe that? The she 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 you know? How about this here? No, nah, it's gonna be nothing. Do you want to say that still? Let me see. Well, as you may know, in order to see reality for what it truly is, we strive to break our attachments to much uh, to much of the transient material realm. I guess you could call me a material girl, an, an immaterial girl. I guess she lives in an immaterial world, huh, Miss Edgeworth? Oh my gosh. All right. What so about that's that? Because it's missing the thingy. Staff. Nope, nothing. Okay. Ba 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 da ba ba do do ski be scooby Oh, so it's just all the same. How about this autopsy report? What do you think about how she died? Nothing. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right. What does this note mean to you? Do you know anything about this old crumpled up letter? Hmm. Is that addressed to Iris? Yep. Clearly it says to Iris on it. I can't believe it. That girl doesn't have any doesn't have any secrets from me. <laughs> so Sister Kenny doesn't know anything about it. Okay, so anyways for that, uh, oh wait, were you the weather data girl? No, that was fucking Larry. That was Larry, yeah. Alright, so anyways, I'm gonna go fucking walk to his asshole and go get- <laughs> Tell me why you're so fucking- Walk to his asshole? Things have changed. Why? Hmm. I don't see Larry anywhere. The birds! The birds came back instead. These sound annoying. I feel as if- I've hated them in a previous time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we scared the poor kid away. So we're shut tight with a number of psycho locks. <laughs> I guess I have to look for him now. I'm on a thorn on my side. He's probably at the bridge now. Yeah. Snowmobile's hey, still there. A, a, a ski thing. I suppose <laughs> the type of thing is necessary to get up here in the mountains. Say, this is giving me a great idea. Something tells me he's gonna tell me what's on his mind, whether I like it or not. I've got an idea for a brand new invention. That might even make me rich. An invention? Yeah, a car that can travel on snow. I call it a snow car. Uh. Uh. So what do you think, sir? Would you go for a ride on something like that? I'll we'll have to take the first 1,000 test rides. Jeez. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right, I'm gonna move. Yeah, what was it that Maya called a, a, a slow mobile? <laughs> she called it like five different yeah. things. <laughs> Slow mobile right, was one where, of them. All right, Larry, where did you, where, where did you, did you, where, did you go run this way? Did you run back somewhere? I'm gonna go. He's I'm gonna go gone. farther in, just in case he ran all the, over here. Nope. Okay. Wow, he's I just straight up I guess we're gonna go gone. ahead and. Uh, guess we'll go ahead and fly on back to the. Uh, yeah, he's not even. Maybe he's gone to go visit his his girl. Like you didn't do it, did you? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'm gonna kill myself. Maybe. I'm just saying he's. He's threatened to do it before. <laughs> and the very first time we met him, he was like, just end me. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth. I came back because I need to ask a few more questions if you don't mind. Yeah, your testimony is... Uh... But I, I've already told you everything that I... Iris, please remember. I'm on your side. Like nationwide. You can tell me anything. <laughs> I yes, the... Thank you. All right. Now then. Yo, you want to try to talk first? Well, I mean, I think if it's mostly going to be the same. See, Inner Temple. Okay, I'll say the Inner Temple. I just finished speaking with the head nun of Hazakura Temple. She testified very clearly as to what happened. She said she saw you stab Miss Elise Junum with a sword. And one other thing. Mm. She said that when Maya Faye began her training at the Inner Temple, you were there as well. What? When I spoke with you last night, you claimed that you never went to the Inner Temple. And yet, Sis Bikini says she met with you at the Inner Temple that very night. But, but I... I didn't go there. I didn't go to the Inner Temple last night. Hmm. Looks like she's done wanting to tell me the whole truth. I wonder if I'll find the answer I'm looking for if I break those psycho locks. It wasn't in red for once. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, also, Nani the fuck? Yeah. This letter. It appears to be addressed to you. Mm. 
I think is someone's idea of a joke, Mr. Edgeworth. That's why I threw it away. She's not giving me a straight answer for some reason. Going to have to find someone else who can give me more information about this. Yeah. Well, there was not much. <laughs> Dude, wouldn't it be crazy if we could visit Phoenix in the hospital and talk to him? That'd be great. Let me go to the fucking hospital. No, never for mind. real. All right. Is so, he at Dr. Honey's? <laughs> oh, no. I hope the fuck not. <laughs> All right. Let's make a time up. I saved. So let's see what we can do here. Yep. Since Larry ran it's away. It's so weird seeing her wear something acolyte-ish. All right. I was frightened. Since I've been handed this case, it's my duty to dig up all the answers, understand? Y yes sir The smallest flame can sometimes bathe the case in a whole new light. In my years in court, I've seen it happen over and over again. That's why I'm committed to searching until I have those answers. Now then, is it really true that you didn't go to the inner temple last night? Y yes I swear, I already told you that. Yes, you said you didn't go because you were frightened. Th that's right. If that's the case, Nevis' question is, what were you so afraid of? Hmm. Iris, I wonder, is this what frightened you so much that you couldn't even leave your own room? I would assume the that note. would be the, the, the blackmail letter saying, all right, there's something I must talk to you about, or salutation here. What? <laughs> there's something I must talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall. Make sure you come unless you want your secret to be exposed. I would assume that's it. There's only thing I can think of. That was awkward. <laughs> what? You didn't hear Edgeworth say, take that! Oh, I heard it. <laughs> that was, okay, not used to that one. No. I found this in the main hall. It is addressed to you. Uh, th that's... Well, Iris? Why? Why are you glaring at me like that? You were scared of the blackmailer who wrote this to you, isn't it? Isn't that correct? There's the higher floof. Yeah. <laughs> what is the evidence of the... Was it the evidence or the power of my glare that broke that lock? <laughs> oh, well. I'll just stare and try and figure it out. Mm. <laughs> I don't suppose it matters either way. But, but, Mr. Edgeworth. Yes? I thought that letter was just someone playing a prank on me. A prank? Well, yes. After all, even if I did have a secret, there's no one to tell it to that would cause me any grief. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder about that. Mm. Sister Bikini is like a mother to me. I would never hide anything from her. No, you may not have hid to, to you may not have anything to hide under normal circumstances. However, last night was different. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know the exact nature of your secret yet. However, whatever it is, there's one person you didn't want your secret told to. Phoenix. Phoenix White. <laughs> Phoenix Wright. Uh. You mean something to write, it seems. And I can tell he holds a special place in your heart as well. That's why you didn't want him, of all people, to know your deep, dark secret. Well, what do you have to say? I should have expected as much, especially from a friend of his. Smashing success! Yeah! All right. Stop looking all cute and shit. Right? Stop it. Stop I'm it. not used to that. I'm used to, I'm used to hating her. Baba Boucher, this girl's the devil. <laughs> all right. After dinner, this letter was waiting for me in my room. As I said, I was frightened by it. What is this Heavenly Hall letter mentions? It's a small mountain shack at the base of Dusky Bridge. A small shack, huh? It's more like a broken down shack that no one would ever want to go near. Hmm. Where is it on this map? Better be on this side. Is it up there? Yeah, it was okay. the only empty space I could see there. It's so. around here. To get there, you must follow a small path down from Dusky Bridge. The reality is, to get to the Inner Temple, I had no choice but to cross that bridge. But the thought that such a terrible criminal could be lurking at Heavenly Hall... I... I was so scared by the whole affair that I didn't even want to think about it. So this is the secret that you locked away in your heart? Yes. Looks as though I may have to visit this heavenly hall now. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll find some sign of our mystery blackmailer. In any case, you still claim to have never left your room last night? Yes, that's exactly right. Mm. Hmm. The trial starts tomorrow. I promise you I will win. 
I'm going to win so that you and Phoenix Wright can see each other again. Aww. But when I do, you must promise me that you will tell him your secret. Mm, but it's pointless. Why would you say that? Because I may know who Phoenix Wright is, but he has no idea who I am. Mmm, debatable. Debatable. I'm going present Phoenix Wright to you. Mr. Wright, how bad is his cold? Well, his fever is very high. As a result, he's rather confused. He's worried about Maya, who is still trapped in the Air Temple. And he's quite worried about you as well, it seems. Really? Yes. Naturally, once he recovers, I'll pass the baton back to him. No, don't. I'm sure that Mr. Wright wouldn't want that. He wouldn't want to defend me. You want to talk about that? No, okay. Yeah. Never mind. All right, moving on. All right, back to the suspension bridge. And we're going to find Larry she's, the Blackmail. She's probably thinking that um, she... Oh, God. Is this where he lives? <sighs> she's probably thinking that um, he doesn't know who she is because otherwise he wouldn't have Edgeworth defend her because she's such a bad person. Yeah. She's like, she's like, there's no way he knows who I am, otherwise he wouldn't be trying to help me. Yeah. Who can, knows? We, can we can we can we just talk about this all, a little bit? All those flags are always they're his from the thing. That's his, I remember that from when he was at the fucking hot dog taco shack yeah. for the samurai hot samurai hot dog he, sausages. And then he's got like little and of course he's got his, his chain from like make it made you know like in, yeah. in elementary school yeah. where you'd make those things out of uh what's construction paper yeah and then he's painted his OTP up on the fucking wall there <laughs> oh god whoa not much of a view down here huh it's still better than the views from my apartment though <sighs> someone's here hide yourself detective how do you hide the detective <laughs> Oh, why, 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 why does that always happen? Yep. Whenever I find a girl I like, they always run away. I even chased one of them to Japan. Next is going to be prison, I guess. I'll steal that detective's wallet. That'll get me locked up for sure. Nah, I can't do that to someone who looks like he's down on his luck. He's just talking to himself. Shh! Be quiet and listen. Yeah, no, I shouldn't have done that. I blew it again. Done that. What did he do, I wonder? Murder! Hey, you! About what you just said! I got an objection! What the? <laughs> it's edgy! You dirty rat! <laughs> Glare! <laughs> Gumshoe, you oaf! <laughs> I, I'm sorry, sir. Before I knew it, I was shouting out objection. And in a loud, commanding voice, too. I even pointed with my pointer finger. <laughs> You've watched too many trials. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You've okay. played too much Phoenix Wright. <laughs> okay, Larry, the jig is up. What have you got to say for yourself? Uh. uh why is he acting so sus? I don't know. Let's talk about these flags. <laughs> what is this festive-looking ornament? It reminds me of an odd class in grade school. What? We used to have a lot of fun decorating the classroom with origami. Remember? But well, I no. Uh, oh, yeah, you were never any good at it. Oh. Really? Yeah, this guy is just so bad he couldn't even afford a dollar on the crane. Everyone tried to comfort him, but he just would sit there sobbing. <laughs> really? I never would have expected it. Be quiet already. I'll never forget the shame of that day. <laughs> you want a crane? I can now make a perfect quarter inch crane with a single flaw. Without, without a single really. flaw. <laughs> you know, Edgy. Quarter that's like one of those <laughs> teeny tiny ones. <laughs> yeah. Nothing for nothing, but a quarter-inch crane without a single flaw is not easy. Yeah, that's quite a feat, press, kid Edgeworth. Uh, this is exactly why I hate childhood friends. Jesus. All right, why are you on the wall? That's a horrible breeding problem you got there, pal. You don't know anything, detective. This is art. It's an expression of my bittersweet love for Iris. Larry, do you know what the difference between graffiti and true art is? Uh, yeah. it's how the artist himself defines it, right? Uh... I should have seen that one coming. Well, if that's the case, then all my lunchbox is a masterpiece of stew, pal. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I'm done with you. That's yeah. just fucking talk. What is this place? What? What is this little shack, anyway? Well, I just discovered it myself yesterday. And why were you down here in the first place? 
Hey, come on, I'm an artist. I was looking for a good place to sketch. It's a great little place. It's uh, artistic. God. It's quiet. It's cold. It's not got no power. It looks like it's about to collapse. Sounds like I'm at oh. with that, pal. <laughs> <laughs> One thing's for sure. No one's likely to show up and disturb you here. No. So can I get you something to drink? Some hot water, maybe? Hot water. He's getting all buddy-buddy on us, sir. Uh. All right. <sighs> Listen to me, Edgy. You gotta do this. You gotta save Iris. Why are you so sure she's innocent? Innocent. In innocent. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Because she's cute. Watch your mouth. Anyway, I've made up my mind about it. I'm going to marry that girl. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> you. You. Uh. Miss Ninja Bethany didn't hear you, so I'm gonna ask for him. Have you already asked that girl to marry you? No, no, not yet. But I can tell she feels by looking eyes. See, I had this I really wanted man to carry me over the threshold look. Uh. I'm sure Nick would be surprised. He never imagined I could marry such a beautiful girl like that. Something tells me he would be shocked indeed. Oh, God. That's why he didn't want her to do anything dangerous. I mean, what am I going to do if she gets hurt? Uh. What is this guy trying to say? He lost me back. He lost me about a mile back. <laughs> what is. Um. We really want to know the answer to that. He's being so. Have to drag him into the witness stand. Like, what the fuck? Come to think of it, you still haven't answered my question. Yeah. Where were you, and what were you doing last night? Oh man, don't you have anything else to talk about? With that kind of attitude, you'll never be with a ladies' man like me. <laughs> uh. Okay, okay, <laughs> chill out with those eyes, scary eyes. I got it. Do you really want to know? Last night. I saw something incredible. Something incredible? Lightning hit a bridge. Three oh, is a man. lot. Yeah, yeah, but let's not talk about that now. Let's talk about the good old days, what you say. Uh, no. Come on, I'll pour you a nice cup of hot water. I'll pour it out for my homies. Jesus. Why hasn't he realized that I absolutely despise talking about the good old days, especially with him? All right. What I've got we? nothing. I was going to so, say, do we have anything? Well, I've got nothing else I can get, oh, so I have to roll with whatever yeah. I have on me. So I've just got to see what kind of things he says. Oh, wait, why did I add... Well, I don't know why I asked... I think I just threw him at you himself. Did. Huh? Me? Oh, yeah, but no, the reason I got is, is not to call me Larry anymore. What? Oh, yeah, he doesn't know that. I'm a new person now. I've been reborn as the Reese Junum. Uh... I, I, all right, fine. Let me ask you about something then, Larry. Call me Reese. If you don't, then I'll call you. I'll call you Miley's Dunum. Miley's. <laughs> I will fucking murder you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anyways. Oh, I was wondering what all of his... All the uh, profiles were read in, from his point of view as. Well, uh, I think it'll still say this. Gun. They can go to the court record and it'll still say... Well, yeah, my friend says Francis grade Grease school. Fell from Dusky Bridge. Homicide detective. In charge of investigation. I don't remember how he became friends, <laughs> though. Uh, Larry's teacher. Scooby pop up. Scooby pop up. Scooby pop up. Doop. Okay. Huh. Whoa, okay. okay. Night of the crime. All right. Now you're going to tell me what you really saw last night. Whoa, you're really upset, aren't you, Edgy? Yeah, because you keep okay, dodging I'll the talk. fucking question. Hut, hut, hut. That, that was a bit too easy. Yeah, anyway, it was awesome. Never seen anything like it. At around 10 o'clock last day, I started thundering. I've been sleeping. I'm not sure for how long. <laughs> Suddenly, zing! The world in front of me went all went white. I had just been slapped in the face by my old girlfriend, Naomi. Oh my god. And then... And then... It was on fire. The bridge was on fire. Dusky bridge caught on fire. And saying you saw it with your own eyes. Hey, what are you giving me an evil eye? I'm telling the truth. Hmm, there's still three Cyclops remaining. Psycho locks. I know he calls it something else. That means he's still trying to hide something. By the way, Larry, where were you when you saw that happen? Wait, 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 wait you say? But what, 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 what do you mean? Why is he what, sweating? What do you mean? What, what do I mean? You just answer the question. I, I was in my own room by the main hall. Who else would I be? As usual, you were as transparent as an empty jelly jar. Mm -hmm. The problem, I suspect, lies there. Dear? But, but, but what do you mean, there, dear? It's impossible you'd have seen lightning strike Dusky Bridge from your room. 
I mean, I'm going to assume it's because there's a mountain in the way. Mm. So, I mean, I'd, I'd probably present the map, so. Boom! Take now, that! Take that! <laughs> this is a map of the area. Take when a look you, around. Why do you keep putting a Z in front of it? He's not saying it. With it just it sounds like he's saying it weird to me, so. He's saying, <laughs> take that! <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a map of the area. Take a look around the vicinity of Hazakura Temple. Well, what am I looking for? I think that should be fairly obvious. The main hall is surrounded by trees, and it's impossible to see the bridge from here. But what? Why, why did you tell me that before? What? <laughs> why did you tell me that before so I could lie but, correctly? <laughs> well, how about it? How about what? Do you feel like talking now? About what? Oh my god. <sighs> Looks like it won't be easy after all. Just strangle him. Give me no choice. I have to move on to the next step. Strangulation. <laughs> you weren't at the room at the temple. So then, where were you? You, you don't know what you don't know that I was in my room. So where was Larry and why was he there? If I've read the situation up to this point correctly, the answer is fairly obvious. Very well, then let's test my theory. The place where his lightning strike Dusty Bridge from was here. Heavenly Hall. I would assume Heavenly Hall, yeah. yeah. It, it, it only the only two options to have really be here or here. No. So I'd say Heavenly Hall first, yeah. if not the other spot, so. Place to lightning strike from was naturally Heavenly Hall. Oh, why would I hang around this old shack? It's freezing cold. There's no electricity in the car and it can, it can fall apart any minute. Larry, how do you know that anyway? How do you know there's no electricity? After all, it's not that dark yet. Oh, boom. And, uh, uh oh. <laughs> in other words, you have just provided evidence to prove my theory. Yep. My theory that you at least once in your life visit the Heavenly Hall after sunset. Yep. I have to admit, I'm impressed, Edgy. You're a totally different league from Nick. That's nice. Now tell me. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> what were you doing at this cold little shack last night? This is what you might call a fair decor. I think you mean a fair decor. Could it be you were waiting for someone? Oh, no. You really are a scary guy, you know. Did he write that just so he could meet up with her? Did he write a fake blackmail letter to her? <laughs> Salutation to you! Oh my god, you fucking moron. I swear to god. Oh no! Okay, we got fucked up. Oh wait, we're supposed to say who. Whoops. Well, Larry, was it this person? You know what? You should save your finger pointing for the call room. Yeah. It's no wonder people call you a workaholic. You should work, you work too hard. You should be like me. Well, I'd rather work too hard than hardly work like a loafaholic like you. <laughs> In any case, you know, I know you're waiting for someone. Yeah, but it's like I said. It's an affair de guer. No, Larry, you mean affair decor. At least I think you do. Could it be you were waiting for someone? You really are a scary guy, you know. I believe you're waiting to meet for. I, I, yeah, I, we, we I didn't was present dumb a person. That. No. <laughs> Iris. That's easy. Dude, yeah. he, he wrote that fake blackmail letter to, just to get her to come down there to meet him, I think. Maybe. We'll have to talk about that. Because, I mean, one... only one person could write salutation here. <laughs> yeah. There's only one person you'd be waiting for in a horrible place like this, Larry. I told you before, don't call me Larry. <laughs> the person you were waiting for was Iris. Oh, suddenly I feel cold all over, Edgy. No doubt uh, because of my chilly glare. At least she's self-aware about See, it. See, I got the hot Iris, huh? Did you have some kind of evidence? Yeah, something that proves I was waiting for her? Or are you just dead guessing? This is where I draw the line in this ridiculous little game. Here's the evidence that proves you were waiting for Iris. Yep. It's, now it's, we present the letter. Yeah, it's gotta you be. You dumb shit. Jesus. Here's your evidence. <laughs> you called her to this spot with a pathetic blackmail letter. So it kind of wasn't oh, oh, hey, hey, give me, Give me that back. You're embarrassing me. What are you doing with that anyway? It's not important. I misjudged you, Larry. What, what do you mean? Taking advantage of a woman's fra fra frailty like that. You should be ashamed of yourself. For real, he terrified oh, her. Oh! First of all, what, yeah. what, what's this <laughs> on top of the letter? It says salutation here. Well, wait, that's why you sit in the book, letter writing for dummies. You're not supposed to actually write that. Oh, that's why you're supposed to write, dear Iris. <laughs> salutation here. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. What? I'm so sorry. You fucking dumb shit. He literally wrote 
the instructions. Oh, Salutation God. here. <laughs> oh, you dumb shit. Next time we're going to talk about I'm how dumb you are. I'm surprised he didn't write subject here, too, next. <laughs> God, at least he has uh, two and a half brain cells. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, what a Jesus. freak of nature. 